In this question, two balls of mass M1 100 gram and M2 300 gram are suspended from point A by two equal inextensible threads each of length L is equal to 32 by 35 meter. Ball of mass M1 is drawn aside and held at the same level as A but at a distance root 3 L by 2 from A as on the figure. When ball M1 is released, it collides elastically with the stationary ball of mass M2. Calculate velocity u1 with which the ball of mass m1 collides with the other ball collides with the other ball maximum rise of center of mass of the ball of mass m2 so in this situation we can see that initially this uh, string is not tight there is no tension in this string and if there is no tension in the string this will fall vertically down as it falls on this vertical line then distance from this point to this point will keep on increasing and when this distance becomes equal to l becomes equal to the length of the string then a strings suddenly become tight so let us draw this situation suppose a time comes when this distance becomes equal to L. Till this time, this particle will go vertically downward and its velocity will be according to the free fall. This is root 3 L by 2, this is L. So from Pythagoras theorem, this is L by 2 and this angle will be 60 degree. So this velocity we can find using Suppose this velocity is u and this velocity is simply under root 2 gh where h is equal to the free fall distance this is l by 2. So this u I can write this is under root 2 g into l by 2 by putting the values of g and l this value will be 8 by root 7. Just after this moment the string will become tight. And if the string becomes tight, then this particle cannot have a velocity in this direction. If this particle has velocity in this direction, then this velocity will increase the distance of this particle from this point. And this is the length of the string. A string is inextensible. A string has tension. So length of the string should not change. Distance between these two points should not change after this. It can only move along a circular arc like this and distance of this point and this point will remain as L. So the tension is suddenly developed and it will apply a jerk on this particle and this velocity will go. So from a string constraint there should be no velocity of approach or separation along this direction along the length of the string and this point is stationary there is no velocity at this point. So at this point along the length of the string velocity should go velocity should be zero the only velocity which will remain will be like this so component of u in this direction perpendicular to the string will remain as it is just after the jerk in the string and this component will go so i am writing these two components this angle is again 60 degree so this component will be u by 2 and this component is root 3 u by 2. There will be jerk in this string in the form of tension. So due to jerk of tension in a string velocity along the string becomes zero and velocity perpendicular to the string since perpendicular to the string there is no impulsive force velocity perpendicular to the string will not be affected as there is no impulsive force 
perpendicular to this tree so the picture will be after this point this velocity will go it will perform a circular motion and for this circular path the initial speed will be root 3 u by 2 so initial speed hereafter initial speed for circular path so this will be root 3 u by 2 and if you put the value of u in this equation so it is root 3 by 2 8 by root 7 so it will be 4 times under root 3 by 7 meter per second so this is the initial speed from which it will cover the circular motion and when this particle reaches almost at this location it is just about to collide with this m2 so a string is almost vertical at this location and if a string is vertical at this location then velocity of this particle will be nearly horizontal so just before collision if velocity becomes v so v is velocity just before collision and for collision the particle further comes down a distance l by 2 since this is total l this is already l by 2 so it is coming down by a distance l by 2 further and to calculate this velocity with which it is going to strike this m2 we can apply energy conservation from this point to this point so from energy conservation there is loss in potential energy and it is equal to gain in kinetic energy so loss in potential energy is equal to mg l by 2 or m1 g l by 2 this is equal to gain in kinetic energy half m1 v square minus half m1 and at this moment the velocity is root 3 u by 2 so loss in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy and this m1 will be cancelled and if you put the values then we will find that the v is coming out to be 4 meter per second you put all the values then v is 4 meter per second so just before collision the velocity of uh, this ball is 4 meter per second now further i am solving this on the next sheet now the situation is m2 is at rest and m1 collides with velocity 4 meter per second so this is the situation just before the collision the situation just after the collision is suppose m2 is moving with velocity v2 and this m1 is moving with velocity v1 so it is just before and it is just after the masses are given like this m1 is 100 gram and it is 300 gram so first we have to find the values of v1 and v2 and for that i am applying the equations of the one equation will be of course the conservation of linear momentum in this horizontal direction and the second equation since this is elastic collision so we have choice we can use the equation of for coefficient of restitution and we can also use that it is elastic collision kinetic energy will remain conserved since in the equation of kinetic energy the terms of v square will come so i am ignoring the equation of kinetic energy i will use the equation of coefficient of restitution so one equation is from conservation of linear momentum and from conservation of linear momentum since all these things are i am assuming in this direction so this direction i am assuming positive for writing the conservation of linear momentum equation so initial momentum i am just using the mass in gram since it will cancel out on both the sides it is 100 into 4 and this will become 100 into v1 plus 
थ्री हंड्रेड इंटू वी टू सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन एंड हंड्रेड विल गो एंड दिस इक्वेशन विल बी इन अ सिंपल फॉर्मेट वी वन प्लस थ्री वी टू इज इक्वल टू फोर सो दिस इक्वेशन नंबर वन सेकेंड इक्वेशन कॉफिशेंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन फॉर इलास्टिक कॉलिजन इज इक्वल टू वन ई इज इक्वल टू वन एंड ई इज डिफाइंड एज वेलॉसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन डिवाइड बाई वेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच एंड सिंस दिस इज इक्वल टू वन सो वेलॉसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन इज इक्वल टू वेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच सेपरेशन वेलॉसिटी आई कैन राइट वी टू माइनस वी वन सो दिस इज वी टू माइनस वी वन अप्रोच इट इज अप्रोचिंग विद वेलॉसिटी फॉर मीटर पर सेकेंड so this is equation number 2 if we add these two equations so a simple calculation it is 4v2 this is equal to 8 and v2 will come out as 2 meter per second if v2 is 2 meter per second if we put v2 here then v1 will come out as minus 2 this minus 2 is telling that uh, this m1 will reverse its direction i am assuming v1 in this direction and v1 is coming out to be negative that means v1 should be opposite to the direction which we have assumed so final picture will be this m2 is now moving with 2 meter per second and this m1 reverses its direction it is moving in this direction with 2 meter per second so after the collision after this collision this time drawing m2 m2 has velocity of 2 meter per second it will follow this circular path and it will stop somewhere here from circular motion we can see that we can see that how it will move how <coughs> far it will go in from circular motion we know that to complete the circular path it should have the velocity under 5 gl if uh, i calculate under 5 gl then this is 5 into 10 32 by 35 so it is obviously greater than 2 meter per second so it is not going to complete this circular path if velocity is under 2 gl then in this situation the particle can go up to here at which the string will become horizontal so up to so to reach up to this point this velocity should be at least under root 2 gl if i am writing under root 2 gl it is this is again the quantity inside will be greater than 4 and this square root is obviously greater than 2 meter per second so it is not uh, reaching at this point so it will stop somewhere in between it will stop like this at this kind of point and this point can be obtained by just energy conservation or this kinetic energy will be converted in this potential energy and we have to just find this height how much height it can go so gain in potential energy is equal to loss in kinetic energy half m it is 2 square this m will go and this h is equal to 2 square by 2g it is 4 divided by 20 that is 1 by 5 that is 0.2 meter so this is the final answer to this problem